Hello. Good evening. Such a weird sensation to look into the camera without seeing myself. But it's just another way to to have a monologue, which in any case monologue every time. So good evening, good day. Buenas tardes. Buena tarde. Dobry vecher. Zeros. Shalom aleichem. Salam aleikum. Namaste. All of it. To all those who joined this experience and probably not everyone experienced that life before because what we have online is just postcards postcards from the past some of them most strong some of them loved by by some of you right some of them misunderstood because we're not all of us can see the whole picture quite often we just see a postcard from the past right and every time it's it's just an experience a present a gift for this momentum which has its own quality its own variation its own improvisation So just to add to, to these few words before I will start touching the strings is that my story as a so-called musician started from receiving a gift. First when I was a kid, my mama papa asked me if I want to study guitar. Привет, мама папа, кстати. Здрасте, дорогие. Спасибо вам. So receiving this gift was like the first round of receiving. But it was okay for a kid to receive it. A kid wants to do other things also. So it just happened to me that I had a wonderful human being, a teacher who picked me up from, from that age, eight years old, and started to lay the foundation for what it would become. Uh, he saw my temperament and passion already at that age. So he would always find a program of different dancers of the world. It could be Cuban dance, Brazilian dance, Arabic dance, Jewish dance, tango, uh, Spanish dance, rumba. It would be all kind of dances. Um, and then this kid left that kind of uh, musical world. He put the guitar aside for about 10 years. And then another round of a gift arrived. And then that kid picked it up and really felt as a kid again. He didn't care about the money, he didn't care about uh, um, the society around. He would sit on the street and play. And of course money was part of it, but it was not the, the only foundation for that exploration. So later, uh, when a phenomenon of changing the world came, because the kid saw himself outside of all this society thing, he would just see running people around wearing masks. You know, nowadays we visibly see people wearing masks. At that time, he would just see people wearing masks, looking like normal people sitting on the street, in this town, in that country, in this country, in this or that place, for about 10 years, sitting on the street. Then, of course, the kid received invitations and been playing festivals and big concert halls and exploring every time these infinite variations of a gift. Because what happens in a story when the gift is received? It needs to be shared. It has to be shared. It's not for the kid alone to have it. 
And so it happened that uh, this kid actually not used to do this thing in front of a wall or a camera or a studio even because he kept in play the same way every time. Every album recorded, it's a variation. Every live performance, it's a variation. Sometimes faster, sometimes slower, sometimes more dynamical, sometimes less. And when those watching it say, wow, here in this postcard you played great, but who have seen other thousands of postcards? Many. The kid been watching it. Or rabbit that is watching through the kid's eyes, breathing through the kid's heart. And so, tonight, we're going to explore two great aspects of a human life. One of a more so-called dramatic life. A life before 2020, I would call it. Because what happens before such a great event like 2020 or 9-11 or many other events through our history that we know about, though now we do have a direct experience of a change. Change means something has shifted. It will never be the same. What will be directly requires our participation and creation. So life before 2020 or life before any uh, event that changes state of affairs, state of life, state of being, it's more like we walk in with the closed eyes, closed hearts, closed senses, and then something happens. And through that crack, this new something enters. So, that's my intention for tonight, to, pre to kind of present, to share, basically, that which I have no idea in what way will come out, even though I know some things, but the way they will come out, I don't know. I trust it every time and now also. So it's just an opportunity to look at the life of a human in so-called first part, to look at the life of a human where we are walking around with close senses, sometimes feeling, sometimes exploding, sometimes reacting pretty much every time. And then something happens and we go on another kind of trip where our senses open up, our hearts are open, opening up. And then we see that everything that we see around, we create ourselves. So I will pick it up from the moment when we finished in Istanbul, in Cappadocia. We recorded a spontaneous little thing that got the name Cappadocian dust, which is all dust, this life, in a way. And uh, that would be a variation of it, as the last thing I did when performing live, pretty much. As a, as a journey, not just as a little stream. So this would be reconnection with that moment of the past, so to say, in this now. And then we will go in the next chapter, where it would be more internal flight and something that we know by name Golden Dragon and so on. This is like a kind of my program for tonight. Though over thousands of performances, they vividly shape themselves. Uh, a divine human life, which walks around and explores, and a divine human life that creates from inside out, not the opposite way. Have a good journey. Thank you. Wherever you are, whatever language you speak, whatever language you don't speak, I invite you on this, on this trip for this experience, the only stream of 2020, from here to here. Wishing well.